Welcome, welcome, welcome. In this week's tutorial, we're gonna do a heatless blowout um, using the banding method. Uh, for time's sake, I've already started. I've, I finished majority of it. I just left the front so I can show you guys how to do it. A lot of people ask me about how I stretch my hair um, or if I use heat, not all the time. I don't use heat all the time. A lot of times I use these in order, um, I use uh, this, technique in order to stretch my hair so I can get better pinup styles and I can do different shapes with my hair. But before we get started, I want to talk to you about my go-to products. Again, some of you have asked me about what I like and what are some of my favorite products. So at the moment, I love the Cream of Nature line, the Argan line from Cream of Nature. And I am in love with their intensive deep conditioning treatment that I'm just like, where has it been all my life? Like, that's how in love I am with it. I also like the Paul Mitchell Foaming Hair Pomade. Now, this is not like an all natural product, but what I love about it is that it hydrates my hair. It does not leave it greasy, which if you've been watching my videos, you know I don't like the feel of grease. I like my hair to be fluffy, but still moist. This week, I've tried the Ion Repairing Treatment and the Deep Conditioning Treatment together from um, Naturally Silk Elements. And um, one of the girls at Sally's um, recommended that I use it, especially that I have the color and she said to use them together, they'll be great. So I'll let you know tomorrow um, when I take, when you see the results of my um, heatless blowout, I will talk to you about if I liked it or not or how, like my experience with it. As of now, it's okay. I'm also trying out the Icy Hair Polisher. It's a moisturizing shine serum. And because I'm using this for the first time and I want to see how um, how my hair, hair reacts to it. I'm not using anything else. I'm just using this to get some moisture and shine. Again, tomorrow we'll see how this works out. Before we begin, you're gonna need an elastic ponytail holder and make sure you have enough, like a lot, more than you probably would need because these, because they don't have the wire, they tend to pop sometimes so my hair is already damp and I don't for this I don't really like it very um wet just damp because it, you'll get more stretch I'm using a big tooth comb to comb it then I'm gonna apply some of the, the serum for moisture and shine. And for the best results, you wanna, your roots, you wanna hold it and stretch it as tight as you can. Too much because if it causes a little bubble like you see some here it'll leave waves in the hair so the closer and tighter you are um, the more stretch you get and the straighter the hair will be and you want to move down with it I'm gonna comb it again use another ponytail holder And we 
And when we get to the tips, I just do a little two strand ring twist that is on the Okay, see how we went from this to this. And I must say, the smaller the pieces, the parts that you use, the more stretch you'll get. But because I want to do it fast and I don't have much time, um, the ones that I've done in the, in the back are a little bit bigger. Try to get the roots as straight as you can when you comb it. So it's the next day and I'm ready to take these out. All right, first I want to just tell you that this band here was a bad idea. The smaller, uh, skinnier ones, they're a lot better. This is like, you see, it's too thick and I guess maybe my hair needs to be a little thicker and may it work better, but no no for banding. Untwist the bottom and then comb it starting with the bottom first. So I just I just took out two of my I guess I should call them banding <laughs> bended hair pieces and I'm just combing through it. Oh, and what I can say about the, the olive moisturizing serum is that, I mean, it left my hair soft, I guess with the combination of that deep conditioner and um, the protein treatment that I had mixed together. It just left it soft, but the verdict is still out. And basically, at the same time, I'm just gonna remove all of these, and when you wanna, when you remove it, you just, I can't see, but just take it and slide, slide it through and just keep unraveling and removing one at a time. For time's sake, I'm just gonna unravel all of them and comb it out and I'll show you the product, the final product in a minute. So now I took everything out, I combed it and I'm gonna finish it off with some of this, the olive moisturizing serum. This is the last bit of what's left in the pack. Make sure I get all of it. Rub it in, put it on my scalp. Well, Results will vary depending on your hair texture. And if I really wanted to get this straighter, I would just do the same thing again. And it will get a lot straighter. But I don't have the time, so this is how I'm going to wear it. My hair is ready to be worn in my pinup style. And as you all know, I love my natural bristle brush. So that's what I'm gonna do. Next time I'm 
y'all probably do the one with the, with the African threading. That is the best method. It really gets it like really straight. But until then, this is what I have to do. I hope you learn how to stretch your hair today without using heat. And um, follow me on Instagram. Feel free to email me any questions you may have. Um, please share my page with your friends, any other naturals out there, or people if you just love makeup, share with them, and I'll see you.